All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. You know, I've got a bunch of videos recently about Avatar Press, and a lot of them are not um, not safe for younger viewers to look at. So I'm going to do a couple of uh, family uh, kitty-friendly ones here, if you will. Um, I'm going to go through a list of um, some Spider-Mans that I've got. Uh, I realize as I'm getting older in life, I really like the uh, the older Spider-Mans. Uh, I love the older artwork, 70s, 80s. So um, that's what I'm going to kind of concentrate on. What I've got here, uh, they're all going to be there are going to be some newer ones. So basically, the uh, first um, series of Spider-Man. Uh, I've gotten some of the newer ones. They're all right, but um, Spider-Man. I like him, but he's never been one of my favorites. I think I prefer his villains. I think that's why I um, I, I collect some of the Spider-Mans that I do. So um, this one here was a uh, promotional giveaway. Um, Spider-Man meets um, the uh, Child Superheroes Power Pack. Um, it's uh, it was a promotional giving away uh, for um, prevent child abuse. Um, Peter Parker, um, has, uh, been touched inappropriately by a, uh, a neighbor, an older boy. And then there's, um, reprints and other things in here. Um, this one was a really good one. Um, Spider-Man, um, and Wolverine team up. Um, this is the, uh, the issue of the story where, um, Wolverine discovers who Peter Parker is there in Germany. This is also during the Hobgoblin time. Um, Ned Leeds has a, uh, I believe, um, if I remember I dies in this. Um, Peter Parker inadvertently kills a woman. So it's a um, pretty dark, um, dark story, but um, entertaining read. Um, this is one of the uh, free comic book days. Uh, 2007. I know this is a key for somebody. Um, I'm trying to remember who exactly, but um, I know I've seen this on the back of a couple of other um, YouTubers' walls. Uh, I believe Mike Spider Slayer's got this in a 9.8. And then um, I do have the uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number one. And then uh, one of my... Uh, Local uh, record stores, they kind of had a uh, small set of um, the Spectacular Spider-Man, so I was able to get uh, number four, five, six, and then um, ten. Um, this has White Tiger in it. I don't think this is his first appearance. I think he showed up in number nine. And then um, some of the uh, Marvel um, team-ups um, and Black Widow. And then the uh, Spider Tales are uh, the reprints of um, some of the other uh, stories. This one was a fun read. Um, Spider-Man and Daredevil team up to uh, fight Electro and I forget who he was with now. So I kind of have these in chronological order as opposed to, to the stories and the uh, events, I think. And, uh, Scorpion was always one of my favorites. Um, I wish I could uh, get his first appearance. And then into the uh, the originals. Um, always been a big fan of um, Spider-Man Rhino. Uh, I was uh, thrilled to find this at a bookstore a couple of years ago during Free Comic Book Day. Um, really, um, really pretty inexpensive price. I know it's According to the online sales, this is um, tripled uh, what I paid for it. So, uh, and it is a low grade. It's probably a two, maybe two point five if I'm lucky. 
uh, maybe even down to 1.5, but uh, I'm a firm believer in uh, low grades better than no grades, so I, I'm happy I have this in my collection. And then his um, second appearance. Um, I also think this is one of the first appearances, early appearances of Mary Jane. And the uh, iconic Craven cover. And uh, I believe this is the first cover appearance of Mary Jane. Um, this may even be the uh, first time she says you hit the tiger, uh, jackpot tiger, but I'm not 100% sure. Again, anything Spider-Man under 100, if I can, if I find it in a dollar bin box or beat up, I usually end up um, getting it, but I don't find them that much. I believe I won these on um, online auctions. The uh, first time the Spider-Man fights the Hulk, I believe. 119, 120. Both awesome covers. And um, I do have the uh, Death of Green Goblin. And the... Uh, Spider-Man versus Luke Cage. This is a reprint. Uh, don't get too excited. But um, I believe they were giving this out during a Punisher movie. And kind of a beat-up copy, 212, but um, Hydro Man. Um, he was one of my uh, favorites growing up. I remember him. And then the uh, team-up of uh, Hydro Man and Sandman, where they uh, make a Mud Man. Uh, Juggernaut's also one of my favorite characters. So um, I was happy to get the uh, covers where Spider-Man fights Juggernaut. <clears throat> and then one of my absolute favorite characters um, is the Hobgoblin, so I was able to uh, get this one a couple of years ago, um, a couple of Comic Cons ago in Phoenix here, um, John Romita Jr. was there and I had him uh, sign it. Um, he basically told me that he just ripped off Hobgoblin to create um, Hobgoblin. I'm oh, sorry, Green Goblin to create Hobgoblin. And then there was the uh, all the controversy about who Hobgoblin was, who he ended up being, all the reveals. And then the... Um, Classic, iconic, 252. First uh, in-story appearance of the uh, black suit from uh, Secret Wars. And I know with the uh, new Spider-Man um, gang war coming out, I did find the... Uh, Classic gang war run, a uh, about a year or so ago at a uh, at a bookstore. That's a pretty awesome cover with a the Punisher there. I know this one I had when I was younger. Uh, one of the first early comics I had from Spider Man was this one. So um, yeah, I did kind of get lost. Um, no idea what was going on with the other three parts. And then I do have some lower grade copies of um, 298 and 299. First cameo of Venom. Uh, fortunately, I don't have a, a 300. And um, a lot of people do claim this is the uh, first appearance of Venom. 
and for the longest time I was told it was. And I've got the uh, classic battle of Green Goblin versus Hobgoblin. Again, this is one that I had when I was younger. And then the uh, return of the, uh, the Sinister Six. I, uh, I love that cover though, that's, that's pretty cool. And the uh, early appearances of Cletus Cassidy. The uh, iconic cover, Venom holding Spider-Man's skull. And then all these ones with Cardiac do have like little cameos and introductions of Cletus. And then um, all the way up to the uh, 600s with the J. Scott Campbell covers. Um, this is a, uh, again, I found this just in a comic book, or sorry, record store. It is the uh, a Comic-Con exclusive. And then I was able to uh, procure uh, one of the other covers. I still need to get the one where Mary Jane's sitting on the uh, on the couch. And then um, issue three sixty five, the uh, foil. I do remember when this first came out. Also, um, got a couple of a. Uh, slabs as well. I do have the uh, 121, the death of uh, Gwen Stacy. And then um, the uh, first appearance of uh, Carnage. So um, that's it for the uh, Spider-Mans I want to go over. I uh, do have more, but a lot of them are the, uh, the newer ones. So if you want me to uh, throw some more in there, let me know. Um, if you guys have similar ones, uh, same ones, uh, you know what I'm talking about with the older comics, comment below. We'll see you on the next one.